Welcome to this new video tutorial for Model Converter X and in this tutorial I want to demonstrate the aircraft.cfg editor functionality that I've recently edited. Uh, a few weeks ago I edit, edited the functionality to show information from the aircraft.cfg file um, and now I've also added an editor which makes it easier to modify the file. So let's just load one of the default aircraft to illustrate how it works. And here at the toolbar, there's a new button now to bring up the aircraft.cfg editor. So if I click on that, the editor will open, and it's basically just a text editor with some extra functionality. I'll just put the editor and the preview next to each other. At the top here, you have a save button to save the work, and undo and redo buttons to undo and redo changes you make to the text file. And there's some search functionality. So if I want to find all the contact points, for example, I can type in point, and then with find next and find previous, I can browse through them. Also nice functionality is if I highlight a line, the first contact point now, for example, it's this one here, you see it's highlighted in red in the preview. So as I browse through the different contact points, they'll get highlighted in the preview, so I can see which one I'm editing. And if I now type in a new coordinate here for example, you see that the point will just jump to a different position. So it's quite easy to say, well, I should probably lower the wheels to see how the contact points are. It seems to be positioned quite accurately, but you can imagine that by loading the model you can now just type in the information and say, oh, I want this 10 meters and uh, it should be minus 7, etc. You can very easily modify the position of the contact point. I'll just undo the changes here because I think the default ones are quite fine. That's for modifications. Uh, if I look at this aircraft, uh, I'll just put it in, oh sorry wrong menu, I should have the camera here. I'll put it in a side preview. We'll zoom in a little bit. If I now go to the exits, uh, well, you see there's an exit point here, but there are also some emergency exits here over the wing. So what I could try to do is say we have two exits on this plane, and I do exit dot one, and let me first just uh, type over most of the coordinates of the first one, except for the uh, second coordinate, because that one And now you see, well, it's located here on the fuselage, uh, like 10 meters behind the, uh, 10 feet, sorry, it's all in feet, the units here, behind the other one. And you can now relatively easily, by just modifying the numbers, put it over there in between the doors where you want it. And then I gave it type 1, which I, if I remember correctly, is emergency exit. Uh, oh two is emergency exit. So I put it on two. And there you have, I've defined the new exit quite easily and in the preview I can directly see what I'm doing. So now I could save this and have my modified aircraft.cfg file being used by Flight Simulator. Uh, that's a very quick demonstration of the new editor functionality. I hope uh, it's useful for you aircraft developers and if there are any other suggestions or, or, or issues uh, just let me know in the forums and enjoy this new feature.